Hello? Hello? Hi, my name is Estrella and welcome to my channel where I talk about social issues, the media, and sometimes myself. This week I want to talk about something that we all can relate to and instead of making a more formal commentary video, I wanted to just flush out my thoughts. As someone who is sort of a content creator who posts semi-regularly on Instagram and does participate in casual Instagram. I just realized I look like me from like two years ago with my makeup and my hair and everything. I'll insert a picture here. I literally was wearing this jacket, I think, so that's weird. So I guess we can start with this comment that I posted under a YouTube video that Amanda made. This was like a year ago when casual Instagram was first talked about. But I do still think that casual Instagram is pretty much like flaunting a natural makeup look. From what I understand, casual Instagram seems to refer to the idea of people posing for pictures but making it look effortless. Casual Instagram is still performative. If anything, it's more performative than non-casual Instagram, just like posting regular post pictures because people would be very much aware that it's posed. But casual Instagram does not give people the same perception. The whole point is to make it look effortless, like the person did not even try. Another thing that I also agree with people saying is that casual Instagram is not some kind of movement. Like it's not anti-aesthetic, it's just simply another aesthetic. That's all it is. What I have recently realized is that casual Instagram does come with some privilege because first of all, if you can't even care about how you look on social media, that is a privilege in itself. People who are very busy working minimum wage jobs and possibly doing school at the same time don't have the time and energy to care about what they look on social media. Like that's the last thing they'll probably care about. And with casual Instagram, people have the privilege of snapping away on their phones and making things look pretty most likely because they live in a nice neighborhood and their house is nice for example for me i know that when i was looking for a place to rent i wanted a place with good lighting because i make videos and i know that i like taking pictures whenever i take pictures of my house it does look good because I paid a decent amount for renting this place. Personally, I feel like I do participate in casual Instagram, I'm not gonna deny that. I do post quite a bit of photo dumps. Here's some of my photo dumps. But I also post post pictures. And for me, I like posting random pictures because I just think it's pretty. I'm not trying to necessarily like show people that, oh my God, my life is so effortlessly cool. Like, I mean, if that's a side effect, then cool, I guess. But I just like how the pictures look, to be honest. And also another aspect of posting more casual pictures for me is that I post them because I want to post semi-regularly on Instagram, but I don't really like taking posed pictures too often so that's why i usually like go back and forth with it like i'll post two carousels and then like another photo dump and then keep going with that and i don't like to think that's pretty harmless but with that said i do have pictures where i guess afterwards i realized that i made it look effortless when it wasn't exactly that way um one picture i'm gonna dissect is this i think this screams casual instagram i would say i think this is my d picture but it's probably not as effortless as i made it out to be there's not much to the story but the backstory is that I just woke up, was genuinely in front of the mirror. Then I just kind of like took pictures because that's what I do when I feel good. I take pictures literally every day, anytime. So anyways, I was doing that. And since the pictures were kind of coming out good, I was like, let me take this a little more seriously. So that's when I like tried to like, you know, adjust the bedding and stuff like that and then like fixed my bangs a bit and i took maybe like 50 pictures to get that one really good one and i purposely did choose one that like 
I felt like I looked the most natural in and yeah, probably the most effortless in. But I did not put on makeup for it. I did actually wake up like that. It was just the lighting in my room that day was really good. My hair was cooperating that day. Like there was volume in my hair. So I think that made it look really nice and effortless. But overall, I would like to think that the way I post on Instagram is pretty authentic or more authentic than most people, which I guess you could be the judge of that. Whether that be because I look good in them or reminds me of a good memory, I genuinely like them. Like, I'm not just posting them for likes, although that is part of it. It's not the only reason I'm posting those pictures. Since I feel like I have sort of developed a healthy relationship with Instagram and what I post, I thought I would share some tips where you could possibly make casual Instagram actually more casual. I feel like these are three things that I usually do. The number one tip I have is to take pictures genuinely in the perspective of where you are so if you're like standing and you see something that looks pretty just stand there and take the picture i feel like that's the most natural so for example i study here a lot on the desk and i would take pictures of this area because it's really pretty and right now it's snowing so it's extra pretty so i just zoom in like this and snap away um and then also here, sometimes I take pictures of this. So I just woke up a little while ago and I'm still on my bed. Um, and I am feeling really at peace right now. And sometimes when I feel this way, I like taking pictures of the walls in front of me, like here, um, because I like how they look. So yeah, that's just one example of what pictures I take from literally my point of view. And then second tip, I think, would be to take a bunch of pictures. I might not have any Leo placements, but I take pictures of myself a lot, like every day. Even when I don't have makeup on or a nice outfit on, I just take a bunch of pictures. I think one good thing is that it means I would get more practice taking pictures so that I'm more likely to end up with a good picture that I randomly take of myself. It also gives me practice to find my good angles and the selfies I take actually captures how I look that day. Okay, so this is where I try to show you how I take my selfies and sort of the rotation of facial expressions or the lack of a facial expressions I go through. Also, you can see in the corner, I have a huge red flag in my room. My bed is like here. I also excuse my hair. I tried to fix my bangs for this part of the video. It's just not my hair day or my face day or my skin day. So just ignore this. But usually I go through different facial expressions. The first one is just like looking up and being like, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Maybe I should do this instead. I have a bunch of pictures from higher angles because it makes my face look smaller. I've been doing this pose a lot as well, like... I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. This is so awkward to watch. I also just like look nonchalant. Sometimes I use my mask as an accessory. I mean, I need to wear a mask outside anyway, so like just pretend there's a mask here and I'm just looking like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also like to look sideways a lot, actually. So I try to show my jawline the way I usually do. I honestly just make facial expressions in my selfies that I normally do all the time. Um, and apparently that's like an aesthetic now, I feel like. I think it's just like my way of trying to romanticize my life. Especially when I have makeup on, I try to look like I have something to do, even if I just put on makeup to film a YouTube video. Sometimes I also like taking pictures to record how I felt that day overall. So if I'm feeling annoyed, I'll make an annoyed face in the picture. And if I'm feeling happy, I'll just like, it's like my emotional journal, sort of. I also take a lot of mirror selfies because they're easy and it's posed, but I just do it myself. Like, I don't need someone else to take a picture for me. Um, I try to throw off my tats sometimes like that, too. 
hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> I think my third tip would be posting casual pictures, like photo dumps and stuff, but also posting post pictures, like these ones right here, where it's very obviously posed at a specific location. I personally would like to think that by doing so, people get to see different sides of me. They get to see what I look when I'm more polished, with makeup on and a nice outfit, but they also get to see me on a daily basis, what I usually look like. I think it gives people a better representation of who I am while still participating in casual Instagram. At the end of the day, we should just post what we like. Enjoy our time on social media, you know? I don't think it has to be that serious and if you like taking pictures of random things, go post that. If you like taking post pictures because it makes you more confident, go do that performative either way so i don't think we should feel that guilty about what we post online especially if we're not a celebrity or a huge influencer we don't really have like a huge responsibility of how social media is shaped like the whole culture and we're just posting for our little following and for our friends so i don't think it's really on our shoulders and i think even then, even with people people who have a bigger following. It would be nice if they post, again, a combination of pictures so that we get a better perception of who they really are and get reminded that their effortless pictures are not actually effortless. But at the end of the day, as long as we're aware that social media is an illusion, it's not completely real, then I think we're good. I hope you enjoyed this pretty lighthearted video. Didn't want to go too deep into this. Follow my Instagram if you liked my pictures. I'm currently really enjoying my own feed. It's like dark themed, love that. Also, I started doing that because it's winter and you know, there's not a lot of sunlight for most of the day. So I decided I'll take flash pictures at night and that's that. But yeah, hopefully my Instagram maybe gives you some inspiration. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you think about casual Instagram or any tips you have to make it actually casual. Subscribe for more videos like this. I make commentary videos every weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye. Can we switch the language? Bye. 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 Bye.